All right, quick reminder on our parallelograms, opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent, consecutive angles add to 180. And when I draw on those diagonals, I get congruent triangles, which means that those diagonals bisect each other. And the parallelogram is split into two pairs of congruent triangles. All right, I did example one and example two on the last video, so check that one out. Now we're going to do the tests. So we already talked about all the properties of a parallelogram. We know what those properties are. Last video I said, well, here's a parallelogram. What do you know about the properties? In this video, in 6.3, we're going to work with the converse of those theorems. We're going to say, well, here's some theorems. And if I give you these theorems, then can you claim that it's really a parallelogram? So if you see a figure where both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then you know it must be a parallelogram. So if you see any figure where both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then you know it's a parallelogram. If, that's an oval, if you have a shape where one side is both parallel and congruent, doesn't matter what's going on over here on the left and right, but if one pair of sides has both of those properties, both parallel and congruent at the same time, and congruent, then you know that must also be a parallelogram. All right, if both pairs of opposite sides are congruent, then it must be a parallelogram. And the last one here if the diagonals bisect each other, gotta be a parallelogram. Now, one that isn't here, but you can use is the Consecutive, consecutive angles are supplementary. If you have both pairs going on there, then you know you've got a parallelogram. Why don't you take a look at example one. I'll zoom out so you can see all those theorems. And I want you to tell me if you see a parallelogram or not. So I pause the video, try it, unpause, check your work. Now A can be kind of tricky. Notice that I have one pair of congruent opposite sides and one pair of parallel opposite sides. Now our theorems say that I need both pairs to be parallel or both pairs congruent. Or alternatively, I can have one pair that's both. But what I cannot have is one pair that's parallel and one pair that's congruent. Why not? Well, I could draw a picture. Here are some parallel sides. They're parallel. I could have one segment that's that distance, whatever that distance is, and another segment that's going in the other direction but is the same length. And yes, I have congruent sides here and parallel sides here, but that doesn't guarantee it's going to be a parallelogram. I could end up with an isosceles trapezoid, which is not okay, not a parallelogram. So this does not have enough information. It could be a 
parallelogram, but there's not enough information here for me to claim that. On B, it is a parallelogram because I have both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. And the last one here, C, it is a parallelogram because the diagonals bisect each other. Why don't you check, I'm going to skip down to 1A, 1B. Let's check 1A and 1B, and I want to know, are those parallelograms? And again, let's pause the video, unpause, and check your work. So on 1A, it should be, yes, it is a parallelogram because both pairs of opposite sides are congruent. And on 1B, not necessarily a parallelogram because... I only have one pair of opposite angles. I only have one pair of opposite sides. That doesn't tell me necessarily that these sides and angles fit the definitions or the properties or the theorems. And my last one here, I want to determine if these are parallelograms. All right, so I got P, Q, S, and Y. I want to know if this is a parallelogram. So we have to ask ourselves, what's the definition of a parallelogram? It's a quadrilateral, so we're halfway there. But I need to have two pairs of opposite parallel sides. So how do I check for parallel? Well, parallel lines, what do we know about parallel lines? They have... The same slope. So I need to check if these two lines have the same slope, and if these two lines have the same slope. So I need to use the slope formula, the y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I need to check out py. QS, PS, sorry, not PS, PQ, and SY. And I need to make sure that these two pairs of lines are parallel. So why don't you pause the video, do your slope formula, see what you get, and then see if we can claim that these are parallel lines. Okay, so you should have paused the video and tried it, and PY QS, you should get 0 over 4 for both, which is just 0. And you can just see that it should be 0. That makes sense. And PQ and SY, you should get 4 thirds. And since you have two pairs of lines or line segments with the same slope, you have two pairs of parallel lines. So if both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, that is a parallelogram. All right, check out any other videos on Chapter 6 or 7 uh, or send me an email and I'll help you out there or stop by for a pass to the math lab or stop by my classroom before school or after school for a bit uh, and I can help you out any way that I can. Just let me know.